Hello, my name is Alan Webb. I'm the founder and managing director of Amcus Internet Marketing. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I'd like to introduce you to our brand new suite of SEO tools, um, which goes by the name of SEO Diver. Um, in the first instance, I'd like to introduce you to our search engine reach tool. In total, we have data on over 20 million domains. Um, without any further ado, let's get cracking. So let's get started. Uh, having logged in, the first page you see is uh, our first tool, which is a search engine reach tool. Uh, don't forget, this isn't a one tool wonder. We have in total 12 different SEO tools and also uh, essentially SEM tools as well. So this tool, however, um, let's say, for example, you are the online marketing manager for ITV.com. Um, so obviously the first thing you want to do is check some data on your own domain. So let's try that. And basically just click out the search. Having pressed search, after a few seconds, you receive uh, the analysis results page. At the top, uh, you see a graph. This depicts essentially the peaks and troughs of the organic search reach. So if I was to click, say, on this peak here, then we can see essentially the buzzing keywords for that period of time, uh, 25th of October 2009. There was uh, quite a high peak for ITV, ITV player. Um, ITV guide. Okay. You can also zoom in. For example, if you drag your mouse across like that, you get an actual clearer picture there, a zoomed in picture. If you want to return to normal view, just basically click on show all again. If we scroll down, and here below we have uh, interesting facts uh, about the domain. Obviously, if you click here, you, you land on itv.com. Here we have the uh, reach, which, as I say, is a calculation of actual visibility. It's not based on a keyword list rankings. It's actually based on impressions of when uh, an itv.com URL is seen in the results pages. Here we see that there are 20,300 pages indexed, um, a traffic scale here. The server locations is in the UK. It's part of an academy cluster. Here, when you click, by the way, you, you land on our search on IP tool, um, but that's uh, for another video. Um, the age of the domain um, and the specific categories. And here, interesting is, of course, you can see which subdomains um, essentially have, have a certain amount of volume. Okay, so, so here you can see all the different subdomains. By the way, if you clicked on them, then of course it would do the analysis for this specific subdomain. Here we have on the right-hand side the top SEO keywords. On the left, the keyword, uh, this is sorted by uh, the, the ranking of this particular keywords and the, and the volume uh, of impressions um, how often this particular keyword is actually found or seen uh, in Google. Also taking into consideration uh, factors such as um, universal search, uh, if it comes up in a video, for example, or news area. On the right-hand side, we have a relevance score. This is calculated on the amount of total volume for the particular keyword, um, but also takes into consideration universal search factors. What you can do is, you see this plus on the side, for example, if you click on the plus, you actually get to see the specific URL that comes up on a search. So uh, if you click there, you can see that this specific URL, the supernatural, is, is logically the result that comes up highest in Google. So let's scroll back up again. Where this tool is particularly useful is, of course, in comparing yourself um, with your competitors. Um, let's see, ITV.com, uh, independent television station. Let's compare ITV with Channel 5. The domain for Channel 5 is 5.tv. So you click Add Domain, add the new uh, domain in the box, and click on Search. ITV, um, uh, as you can see here, 
has more, if you like, search engine reach, more visibility than uh, 5.tv. Um, you can also um, add more domains. For example, uh, let's have a look. How about channel four? Here, um, I'd be a bit concerned about that as the uh, ITV.com uh, uh, online marketing manager. Um, Channel 4 is significantly more search engine reach, more search engine traffic than uh, ITV.com. Let's, for argument's sake now, consider subdomains. Um, for example, 5.tv has a subdomain called demand5.tv. But here's something very useful. If you leave out the actual sub part and just call it by its root 5TV and do the same, for example, so that you're comparing apples with apples with ITV and the same with channel four, what we're analyzing now is each domain in its entirety, if you like, including all the subdomains. So, so we actually get a real picture of the complete visibility of, of, of each uh, internet presence. So all we have to do now is click search. And you see it looks a bit different now. Um, we've included now um, all subdomains for demand five, etc. demand five here, the blue line. Here we have ITV.com. It's starting to look a bit better than before when we didn't include the uh, subdomains. Probably the X Factor subdomain is responsible for quite a large amount of traffic. Um, here, if we scroll down, we can see all the subdomains that are taken into, in, into consideration. Obviously, the, the www.itv.com or itv.com, the blog, etc. Here we have all the demand five domains, subdomains, sorry, and here and here the channel four domains. Here's also something interesting. What about um, BBC? Obviously, BBC is a huge domain with, uh, a lot of, for example, all the news content, etc. Um, so, wouldn't it be interesting to know if the three of these combined have as much traffic, so, or search engine reach, sorry, as uh, BBC.co.uk? And this is quite simple to do. All you need to do is add a comma and then string along the domain. So comma 5.tv, comma channel 4.com. So the, the, the combined search engine, reach search engine traffic um, in comparison to bbc.co.uk. So, uh, the combined search engine reach of ITV, 5TV, Channel 4, including all the uh, subdomains of them, is still a long, long way away from uh, the reach, of course, of BBC Co. UK. Again, if you scroll down, um, you have a list of all the other network domain subdomains. Um, all you have to do, uh, essentially, is use these arrows to flick through them all. Same obviously applies to bbc.co.uk. So that concludes our, our first uh, instructional video for SEO Diver, specifically the search engine reach tool. There will be more. Thank you for listening and watching. Goodbye.